Hey everybody, welcome back to another episode of Cedar Valley Acres. In this episode, we're starting this, the insulation on the house. To kick things off, we got the windows all plasticed off along with all the doors. Then set up some plastic on the floor so that when we do the spray, it's not going to take and get on the concrete. First thing we had to do was test the batch, make sure all the mixture was good, and then we could start spraying it on the walls. The setup we decided to go with for this house was doing the flash and bat method where you do one inch of closed cell spray foam followed by the fiberglass insulation over top of it. This gives us about an R25 value in the walls. These guys worked extremely fast. They were able to go through, do all the spray foam, and get all the fiberglass put in in one afternoon. One of the other things that they did was they came back through and scraped the studs to make sure that there was no spray foam left on them that would interfere with the drywall. We even decided to insulate some of the interior walls for more sound deadening. Alright, so what we're doing today is the gaps up there. I'll take you guys up there in a second, but I'm going to hit those with some spray foam along with the, the tight corner spots back there where it might be hard for the blown in insulation to get in there. I'm going to hit those with some spray foam um, before we start hanging the sheetrock in here. Got gloves now. That gap right there and that gap right there is what we're going to use this for. It's just easier to do it this way.
Hope you guys enjoyed this video. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe, and we'll catch you in the next one.